The Ducks were hoping to come up with two points on the road against the Penguins. Pittsburgh puts on a show to pick up the win. The Golden Knights were on the road up against the Blue Jackets. Columbus tops the opposition in a fun one. Hi, everybody. Welcome to Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. Along with Ray Ferraro, I'm James Cebulski. The Flyers will get a chance to enjoy some home cooking for an extended period, Ray. Always good to get home to play some games in a row where you can build a routine again. Once you start bouncing around, it really gets difficult as the games pile up and you don't get any rest. Centers are lined up. Official ready to drop the puck. The Flyers take possession here on the opening draw, and we are underway. Picked up along the wall by Mantha. Nice pass. Pass to Peters. Can't find his man. Detroit's got a hold of it against the wall. Puck picked up by Larkin. Quick pass to Hayes. Moves the puck inside the offensive zone. Detroit's looking to break out of their own end. Puck grabbed by Ronick. Into the middle of the neutral zone. Jostles for the puck, but still hangs on. Here's a chance, and it doesn't get better than that. Oh, he's going to be shaking his head. Yeah, except all we would say on the bench is it hit hard when it hit the end board. <laughs> Quick feed to Hayes. Loses possession after he takes a little hit. And he slides it quickly to Mantha. Here's a chance right in the slot. Scores! Is that, is that 50 now in the year? Yeah, good math there, James. I thought when you got your shoes off to count that we were in trouble, <laughs> but you got it right. Always nitpicking my math. Not bad year, though. Ah, uh, you'd expect that. The team's leading goal scorer finishes another one. The Red Wings with about as perfect a road start you can get here, Ray. They came out and wanted to be aggressive, sure, but you never really think you're going to get on the board this quickly. Lots of time left in this period. Detroit's up one zip. Face off here in the neutral zone, and we are back underway. Moves it quickly over to Chalowski. Sends it to the opposite corner. Philadelphia's got the puck along the boards. Puts it in deep. The Red Wings get a hold of the puck in their own end. Looks to make a play over to Peters. Here's a chance. Stays with it. And now he tries to get it across to Chalowski. And that one's broken up. Sends the pass over. Slides the puck into the offensive zone. Detroit's got a hold of it along the wall. Peters works the puck in his own zone. Into the offensive end now. Peters looks around. And he takes a shot, and he comes up with it. The Red Wings have had way more chances offensively, and as a result, they're leading in this one. Philadelphia's won the faceoff deep in their own end. Costas Bears lugging the puck. The Red Wings gain possession along the wall. Philadelphia's got the puck here in the open ice. Moves it to Braun. Here's a blast. Gets the tip. Price is going to hang on for the whistle. While his team's in the lead, they want to make sure that they have control of the pace of the game. Larkin's goal-scoring prowess is known around the league. He's in the top 10 in goals, and it's because he can deliver the puck accurately and quickly. Detroit's got it in the defensive zone. And he slides it quickly to Peters. Here's an odd man rush. Puts it on goal, and he makes the save. Still lots of time left here in this frame. one nothing is where we sit at this point. Play resumes here as he wins the draw inside the offensive zone. Giroux swooping in on the attack. The Red Wings gain control of the puck against the wall. Here's a short pass to Mantha. Takes the pass. Gains the zone through the middle. Shot! Oh, what a blocker stop by Bryce! Quick pass to Mantha. 
And now it's over to Larkin. Good use of the body on the play. Philadelphia's got it in their own zone. And now he moves it to Van Riemsdyk. The Flyers play it along the wing. That knocks it off the puck. Headman pass. And now he moves it quickly to Peters. And the always popular icing call made. And you know what that means, Ray? Now, offensive zone faceoff, man. He missed the play going down the ice. And that's a gimme icing. Now they can't change. You've got tired guys on the ice. The Red Wings have had multiple scoring opportunities here in this first and could easily have a much bigger lead. They take possession as he locks them up off the faceoff. The Red Wings have it against the wall. And now he angles it across to Peters. Takes the feed. Quick feed to Stetcher. Takes the feed. Oh, he'll feel that one. Nice zone entry on the left side. Couldn't make that one happen. Moves it quickly over to Peters. The Flyers take possession in the defensive end. Taken by Montour. Sends it quickly to Suter. And they fail to go tape to tape. Here they are on the attack. That goes wide. Battling for it along the boards. Good heads up play in the defensive zone. Moves it to Mantha. Puck scooped up by Larkin. From one point man to another. From the point, looks to make something happen. And tries to make a diagonal pass to Peters. Pokes it away in his own end. And now it's grabbed by Suter. And it's a quick pass to Sanheim. The Flyers take it across the blue line. Good defensive stop with the poke check. Peters plays it now. And he passes it up ahead to Larkin. What a steal in his own end. Nice zone entry from the right side. Here's a shot. Stones him in front. Price covers it up, and he's just going to let the play breathe for a second here. He's been really good, but hasn't had a lot to do in this period, so you keep your team in the lead by controlling the game. And that'll do it. Period number one is in the books. The Red Wings get off to a good start. They lead 1-0. Don't forget to check out. Opening face-off for period number two, about set to go. Well, after an intriguing opening period, here we go. It's period number two. Puck is dropped, and we are underway. One period already in the books. Ray, how have you seen this thing? The Red Wings must love the way that this game is played out. They're controlling the majority of the shots, and they've got the one-goal lead. James Sabalski, Ray Ferraro with you here in the early going of this period. Detroit's ahead, 1-0. The Flyers win the draw. Moves the puck. Grice selects to hang on and get a whistle here, Ray. Yeah, pretty soon, James, the players in front of him are running all over the place. They're trying to help, but they're not. That cover was important. Officials getting ready to drop the puck. Puck possession so key in today's game. Puck picked up by Hayes. The Red Wings scoop it up along the boards. With some open space at center. They've got the defense outnumbered. Here's the pass. Poked away. Now a quick pass to Mantha. And he slides it quickly to Chalowski. Philadelphia's regained possession of the puck. Hayes setting up against the wall. Quick pass over to Peters. Handles the puck. And now he tries to get it across to Mantha. That's taken away. Great defensive effort there. Jostled off the puck. Receives the pass. The Flyers have it behind the net. Gives them nothing in front. And he slides it quickly to Chalowski. From the left side into the middle of the neutral zone. Pins him against the boards as they battle for the loose puck. Detroit's got a hold of it against the wall. Centering pass. And that one's broken up. Great block there. Smart defensive play here in the open ice. 
right in front. And a stick in the lane ends that threat. The Flyers take it along the wing. Detroit's got the puck now. Takes the feed at center and moves up ahead. Kind of lost control for a second there, but regains possession. Knocks the puck loose after a solid hit. Oh, smart heads up play to put that one away. That pass doesn't go. The Flyers will play it from the defensive zone. They go on the attack through center. And he's tripped up on the play. Referee's hand goes up here. There's the whistle. And let's hear what the official's explanation on this one is. The Kaiser's called for tripping. He's off to the box. Plenty of playing time left in this frame. We got a one nothing game to this point. Off the draw and a nice jump. Opponent slides the puck across to Larkin. There's the whistle. Offside is the call, stopping the play. The centermen glide into position. Puck is dropped and we are back underway. They gain possession here inside the neutral zone. From the slot, wrist shot, stick save, and a butte by Hart. Challenged a good save. And that's blocked. Peters plays it against the boards. Great chance in front. Oh. Scores! His second of the game. Well, he's been on tonight. Really good skating legs. He's finished off a couple of plays, too. The good thing he one times his puck. The goalie almost gets there, but the pass is on his tape in the low slot, and he beats him clean. The rookie's been a big part of this dominating portion of the game. They've been all over the opposition, and the coach is reminding them, don't take a step back. Keep pushing the pace. They've been like a pack of Wolverines out there on the ice to this point. Detroit's now up by a pair. Still lots of time to go, but they've been good tonight. There's nothing to complain about. Their coaches look like they're pretty satisfied, but this is when you push harder, try and get the third goal, and make this thing out of reach. That one's broken up. Detroit's in now. The Red Wings get a hold of the puck along the boards. Scores! Putting the man in Mantha! Anthony Mantha! He kept moving in that high slot, looking for an area that might be open. Then the puck's on and off his stick. Nice shot. The Red Wings now in the driver's seat with a 3-0 cushion. I've really liked almost everything about their game tonight. Now they've got a three-goal lead, and they can run this one out. Detroit's got the puck inside the defensive zone. Here's a short pass to Peters. Offside is the call, that will have a face-off just outside the offensive zone. Peters' creativity makes him a special player. He's in the top 10 in assists at this point. His teammates love to play with him. They get open, he finds them. The Red Wings lead in a big way here in this second. They have been on fire offensively. Good hit to knock the puck loose. He got all of that hit on the play. Jabs the puck away. Manages to hang on. Detroit's got the puck. The Flyers have it on the offensive end. Whoa, he scores! They've given themselves a little bit of a chance here. James just opened the door for a little light. Can they find another one to really make it close? Something to build on, right, Razor? You just gotta have something to believe in. This is it. Pretty clear the goaltender's not expecting this shot. That defensive zone turnover results in this quick shot. Beats the goalie low. The Flyers have shown some life here in the second. It's about time, James. They're down two. They've got a long way to go to claw back into this. And he loses control of the puck. Detroit's gained possession along the boards. Quick pass to Mantha. Big play inside the defensive zone. Quick feed to Sanheim. The Flyers move the puck in the defensive zone. James, he's only one goal away from the next plateau. He's really working the puck now. Denies him again! <laughs> Detroit's been the better team tonight, and they lead as a result late in the second. 
The Flyers win it. Puck grab by Mantha. And here's the pass to Peters. It's a two-on-one. Let's it fly. Scores! Anything you can do, I can do better. Wow, that didn't take very long, did it? They give up the one goal and they go right back down the ice and score. That's really impressive work. Actually, James, it's amazing to me how many times an odd man rush gets screwed up. They deliver this one perfectly, and they put one on the board. It's pretty rare when you play a game and in the middle of the game, the coach gives you a pat and says you're doing a great job. But the rookie has been excellent tonight. James, he got an assignment early. We heard him talking to the coach about it, and he's delivered. He's been absolutely excellent. We call his name a bunch tonight. Detroit's probably not wanting this period to end, do they? No, they're having a great time, and this is going to go into the intermission, and they'll have a relaxing 18 minutes to think about things. Moves it quickly over to Peters. Comes up with the stop. Hart's no different than anybody else tonight. I mean, that's a good stop that he makes, but he hasn't been very good, and the team has played rather poorly. Strong defensive effort. Skates across the blue line. Excellent stick work on the play. Philadelphia's got the puck along the boards. Set in deep and the forwards will go to the bench. The Red Wings have it from their own end. And now he moves it quickly to Peters. Looking to make something happen along the boards. Here's a stretch pass to Hayes. Streaking through center, they go on the attack. Good defensive effort to poke it away. And that's picked off. The Red Wings will play it in their own end. And a poke check knocks the puck away. Detroit's got a hold of it along the wall. Oh, if there's going to be a regret in this one, that might be it. Yeah, that play is right there to be had. They just miss the pass. The scoring chance goes away. Pokes the puck away. With possession along the wall. Moves it to Hayes. Blocker save, and he's showing up big time tonight. And the horn sounds to stop the bleeding, at least for a few minutes anyway. Are you ready for a walk down memory lane? Then it's time to sign up for our fantasy camp. Play hockey with childhood heroes. It's a fun-filled week full of memories. Call us for details, or you can visit the team website. Both teams seem fresh after that second intermission. We're ready to drop the puck on period number three. It's been a total mismatch here as we get underway for the third. Let's see if anything changes. Well, we've got two periods under our belts to this point so far, Ray. How do you see things? The Flyers are in the position they deserve right now, James. They're behind in the game. They haven't had the puck much. They're running around trying to get it back. Turns it away. Certain saves are more difficult than others. This one right from the slot is turned aside. Slides the puck over. On the redirect. And that's stopped by the goaltender. Great save to stay with it. I like this by the coach here, James. He's gone to his youngest player, the rookie, and he's reminding him to play safe at this time of the game. You got the lead. You don't necessarily need another goal. You don't need turnovers. And as I tell my kids, Razor, safety never takes a holiday. The Red Wings are on cruise control here in this third period, leading big. Swoops in off the wing to grab the puck after the centerman tied him up. Here's a chance to set up now. And that's blocked away. Answers the call big time. What a stop by Grice. Smothered that in close chance. Philadelphia's got control of it now from their own end. Sends a pass over. Here's a short pass to Giroux. It's up with the blocker. What a stop by Grice. Dead center, excellent save. Into the attacking area from the left side. Shoots it, and that one's stopped. Philadelphia's got the puck along the wall. And he handles the cross ice pass. Tried to make a move, and the puck hops away. Great pass from off the right side. Nice pass. Loose puck battle along the boards. Sends the pass over. 
the Flyers gain control of the puck against the wall. Quick pass to Van Riemsdyk. Move to the middle. Let's the wrist to fly. Scores! Now they got the first brick in the wall here. They've got to build the wall continually. Another brick, another brick. See if they can get one more goal. It's not about tying the game yet, James. It's about giving yourself a real chance. Philadelphia's still got to find two more goals, but they at least have one back. That gives them a little bit of hope, and the bench seems to have come alive a little bit. Slides it on over to Sanheim. He almost lost it for a second there, but regains control of the puck. Stopped by the goaltender. Sanheim's first game back doesn't show any signs of rust, James. I like the way he skated, and there he gets a shot on goal. We haven't even hit the midway mark of the period. Philadelphia's got to find a way to get a few more goals here as they still trail by a pair. Oh, he'd like to have that pass back. Here's a shot. Loses his balance on the play. From the right side, takes the pass. And now he passes it to Van Riemsdyk. Detroit's looking to break out. Takes a bump, but still hangs on to the puck. Huge steal in his own end. Couturier's moving it ahead. There's the whistle. Offside is the call. Voracek's been on fire lately. His point streak's starting to stretch out. This is when you feel like you'll score any game. The Hurricanes provide one more challenge before they head home. That's enough, too. I mean, it yeah. seems like it's been a really lengthy trip. It's time to go home. Quick feed to Larkin. A little dipsy doodle, and he loses possession of the puck. There are times you try to do too much. He's got good hands, but maybe a more simple play is the right one there. Detroit's moving it up the ice. Grabs control of it at the point. Picked up along the boards by Montour. Feeds it over to Giroux. The Flyers move it in. There's the whistle from the linesman calling it offside. Play set to resume with the face-off ready to go. Moves it to Couturier. Through center along the wing. And now it's over to Lindblom. Moves it around along the half wall. Detroit's looking to break out of their own end. The Red Wings move to the offensive zone. And a penalty is coming up as the play is whistled dead here. The Flyers are going to be shorthanded, tripping the call. Played with fire, he got burned, Ray. Oh, he's digging around for the pocket. Sometimes you just get caught. This time the player goes down and he's got to go to the box. Oh, and he just puts it wide of the net. Hit the net. No chance to score if you don't get the puck on target. Maintains possession. And that skips away on a nice defensive deflection. Glove save, and he handles it with ease. A big draw looming here in the offensive zone. Buck is dropped, and we are back underway. And it's a quick pass to Suter. Dumps it into the O zone. The Red Wings have it against the wall. Now a quick pass to Peters. Tries to get it to Mantha. Moves the puck along the half wall. Detroit's got it from behind the net. And he regains control of the puck. And he easily stops that one. In the final moments of this period, we've got ourselves a 4-2 hockey game. And it's a much needed kill as the penalty expires. Uh, some disappointment on the bench after that power play. Everybody in the building knows the importance of the moment, and they weren't able to get it done. Larkins won the faceoff deep inside the offensive zone. Here's a pass down low. The Flyers have a hold of it in the defensive zone. Voracek's got it into offensive territory. Takes the pass with the steal. 
Moves it quickly over to Mantha. Detroit's got it in their own zone. They've got numbers. The Flyers gain possession along the wall. Van Riemsdyk's got it along the wing. Takes the feed. And the traffic jam in front blocks the shot. Detroit's ready to go on the attack. The Red Wings take it along the wall. Comes the puck here inside the offensive end. Moved in front, and that's broken up. Philadelphia's on the attack. And here's a shot denied by the goaltender. Detroit's got it against the boards. Moves it to Larkin. Nice poke check. Takes the feed. Takes a shot denied by the goaltender. Oh, we got a tripping penalty coming up here. The officials were all over that. Wide of the net. Time for the official to pass down his sentence. The Flyers are getting two minutes for tripping. Like every player in the history of the game, he doesn't like the call, but he's going to have to go serve his minor penalty. Two minutes for tripping. Time of the penalty. 19 minutes, three seconds. And there's the final horn, putting a bow on this one here this evening. The Red Wings finally get to raise their arms in victory in what felt like it would never come. They started to play better as the streak rolled along. They had some clunkers, but it looked like they were starting to get it together. And here they are, a win, and the streak's over. Next month's game on the road where you and a friend could be there. All right, back to the phones we go. We check in with Rebecca, or how about Becky? You okay with that? Yeah, I love it. Thanks, Steve Ball. Thanks for having me on. My pleasure. What's up? I think this is just one of those games where I'm starting to realize all the potential that the Rook has. I mean, I was just so impressed with what he can do when he's skating with the puck. I thought he was just a good skater, but especially when he's with the puck, he's got his head up, he's always looking for his teammates, setting up great plays, he's hustling. He's just one of these young kids that are kind of changing the game with the speed and the skill.